Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of This War of Mine. Try and remember where we left off last time. Alright, so apparently Erica was out scavenging for stuff. She's got a bio update, let's just read that. Alright. Oh, that's right, we saved the girl. Would anyone do the same for us, I wonder. Let's see, does anyone else have anything to say? Bruno's got a little bit of his story. I used to be an optimist, one of those people who'd have sworn that war wouldn't come. Wars happened in far away third world countries, or so I thought. Even when I was listening to the news getting scarier day by day, I did not believe all of that, all that was about to happen. Alright. I'm gonna have, um... Let's listen to the radio. It's cool outside with clouds and possibly rainfall. Our advice for cold evenings is grab a good book and a hot cup of tea and relax in your armchair by the fireplace. Mass graves were discovered in the town of Gravia. The military has secured the area and denies reporters access until the end of the investigation. All right. Let's have Bruno whoop us up some food. It's actually been long enough that I forget uh, how well off we are. I will right, we'll have Erica eat and then sleep. Roman needs to eat and sleep as well. We need to make crowbar a crowbar so that we can start uh, breaking into these rooms. Oh look, we don't have enough materials to make anything. Okay, we have absolutely zero building materials. So that's not good. How are we doing on water? We have no filters. Oh, we have 20 units of water, so we're pretty well stocked there. We have three fuel. We still have that assault rifle we got off the soldier. Okay. Uh-oh, who's this guy? Hey, I need help. Please open. Um, okay. Hi there, neighbors. I've got interesting news. Good day to you. I live down the street and I noticed you're living in this abandoned building. I've got some news. There was a humanitarian aid drop last night. Most containers were confiscated by the rebels, but I know about one they missed. It landed in no man's land, so it might be dangerous to get to it, but under the cover of darkness, we should be able to make it. I'll show you where it is if you help me carry supplies. Deal? What do you guys think? Should we help our neighbor go raid some supplies that were dropped off? Or does it sound too dangerous? I don't know. I'm gonna say give me a sec, because if, if anyone's gonna do it, I think uh, Roman should do it. But he's tired. No, maybe Bruno can help carry supplies. I'm waiting to see what stream says. Come on, stream, I need your help. This guy needs your help.
I don't know if the rebels are gonna come after us though. That's the thing. But with their, our, our neighbors might help us later if we help them today. So, alright, let's do it. Alright. Well, that's basically everything that we can do. These two are still sleeping. Just do it! Alright, we're just gonna end the day. Alright, so Bruno's still not back yet. No new places to visit. We still we need building supplies. So we're gonna send Erica out. We'll have Roman guard. We need Shelled Cottage here still has huge amounts of materials. St. Mary's Church, we haven't been there and they have a huge amount of materials, so let's see. St. Mary's Church is still a place of meetings for the local community. Priest Olek is known for his charitable work and offering refuge to the poor. He might have something to give away or trade. Alright, let's go here. I'm not going to bring anything to trade. Well... Alright, I'll bring the moonshine. Because we don't... None of our party members are alcoholics. So, let's bring that. Is there a story to the war, or is it left for the player to fill in? It's more or less left for the player to fill in. They don't really give a backstory. Well, I mean, that's all the supplies that we need right there, basically. Welcome. We have been robbed recently, so we have little left. Do you have anything to trade? My flock sleeps beneath the church. Please do not disturb them. Oh, he does. Oh, wow. He's got a lot of stuff. Let's see. What about... Oh, that's all I'm going to be able to carry. What about medicine? I should have looked to see... How much water would that be worth? I could take all ten of his water for that one thing on Moonshine. I think that's probably our best deal. I'm gonna do that. Because now my backpack is already full. But I do want to explore a little bit just to see... We'll gather some intel while we're here. This area is off limits, leave now. Alright, I don't want to, uh. I don't want to upset anybody. Not yet, at least. Trash and dirt. These bars, you need a saw to get through, and this just looks like a bunch of rubble in here. But we can see there's actually a whole nother house. Look at the size of this house connected to the back of the church. There's a mark on the wall and a few words. Here lies Roxy, the best dog in the world. Poor doggy. Why did it have to be the dog? Let's see, is there anyone in here? It won't budge. Can we climb up here? Aha! Uh, 
Um, I do not believe there are dogs in the game now. I don't see anybody in here. Nothing but useless trash. I'm gonna actually remove the boards from this door. Alright, so we basically bypassed all that rubble. Holy crap, there's a ton of rubble. We have to come back with a shovel. I don't want to. It would take way too long to dig out all this stuff. Can I drop down? Oh, look at this. I don't have to dig. I could just get to it that way. I don't really want to bring any of this stuff, though. We need the building materials. What's making noise out there? There's something outside. Oh, it's a person. It's better now. Guess I just needed that. Going in there is risky. Alright, let's do it. Oh, shit! Oh, he has a gun. He didn't see me, though. How did he not see me? Oh, hello, don't be afraid. I'm just looking around. Oh, my God. Scared the hell out of me. There really isn't anything here, though. It's all trash. I mean, some tobacco. No, that's it. Let's get out of here. Day five. We've been raided. Someone came at night to take our things by force. Someone tried to rob us. They were just a couple of scavengers, so we managed to fend them off. Thankfully, we were all we were all armed. None of us was wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We were able to defend ourselves. All right. So we used three rounds to fight them off. Erica brought back 20 materials, eight pieces of wood, and 10 water. Bruno brought back three food, six coffee, and six water. We have more water than we will ever need. Like, this is pretty good. Oops. Check the radio again. Thank you. 
We need uh, fuel though. So we can actually upgrade our stove. We just need four more pieces of wood. Um, we need to make a workbench. Or not a workbench. What is this? This is a simple workshop. We need to make this. A metal workshop. Which we have enough stuff to make. So let's just make it. Alright, with this we should be able to make some tools. This music is terrible, by the way. We have to change this. There we go. Okay. Alright, so hey, we actually have enough materials to make a crowbar. So let's make it. That actually worked out perfectly. So now, instead of having to use lock picks to open these locked doors, we just pry them open, man. But we're gonna have Roman sleep. We'll have Bruno start digging. She can bust this open over here. All right, bandages, water, a knife, and three more rounds for our weapon. That's pretty useful. I'll have her do this one. Medicine in three more rounds. That's pretty good as well. What else can she break open? This doorway up here? And we still need building materials. Like, we're not doing one... We're not great on food. Like, we're still... We're starting to run low on food. Um... But I think we have enough food to last us like another two days, maybe. The thing is, we have a lot of medicine. So if we can like trade medicine for food, that probably would be our best bet. Oh, here's some food. Another lockpick. Whoa. Water, weapon parts, and two jewelry. A piece of jewelry. Valuable bartering item. So we'll definitely be able to trade for some food now. That's nice. I don't know if she's going to get through this rubble pile by the time the day's over.
We need to start patching up our house, too. So these, we have these giant holes in our house. It makes it easier for people to raid us. All right, so we will have... Um, Oh, we have new places to visit now. All right, we have the hotel. A small yet luxurious hotel previously owned by Pagoran Travel Agency. Presently occupied by some armed thugs. Screams are sometimes heard coming from the building. It's best to keep away from him. That's not good. City Hospital. It's been shelled several times. There was a fire and numerous bandit raids, and yet it still operates. Some wards still admit patients and save lives, mostly thanks to Dr. Jeffemal, a renowned surgeon who remains steadfast and keeps the others in line. That's cool. Shelled school. The school was damaged by mortar shells. No classes held for a long time. Recently, a group of rebel militiamen moved into the abandoned building. They may be willing to trade with us. And small apartment building. This old apartment building used to be owned by an elderly couple and their son, but they fled before the siege. There are rumors of some shady-looking, well-armed individuals taking refuge there. We had better be careful if we decide to go there. Um, I think if we... we should go to the hospital, and we should bring medicine and trade the medicine for stuff. No? Where else could we go? Let's, like, we really, we have to decide what we need. We need, we still need building materials. Let's go to the school, then, and see if we can't find some building materials. We'll take Erica. We'll have Roman Guard and Bruno Sleep. Um, we'll have Erica bring the crowbar so that we can break into any locked containers. Alright, so this place is pretty... No, it's not... It's not as big as the church. Oh, wow. Okay. Lots of people in here. Oh shit! Oh, we can trade? The school is held by Vicini Militia, we can trade? But you can't enter, what have you got? Holy crap, they've got a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna trade with them. I hope you'll change your mind. Alright. So if I, can I like go down here and I want him to go back inside. Yes. Okay. Oh, here we go. Building materials out the wazoo. There are a lot of propaganda leaflets, one of them. On one of them, there's a symbol of a plane symbol and a message. Do not approach international airdrops. It may be dangerous. Report all drops to the nearest militia outpost. Well, that's great. We just helped our neighbor recover an airdrop. Alright, this door is sealed. Can we climb over? We can. We have to dig this out. We better start digging. Because I don't think there's any way we're going through this, this room here. But maybe if we can dig through this, we can drop down behind and we can at least scavenge a couple more rooms without them knowing that we're here. Hopefully. It's 
takes so long without a shovel. Somebody's walking around down here. Alright, the night's halfway over. We just have to make sure that we, whatever we get, we have to make sure we have enough time to get back to the exit, which is all the way down here. More building materials. Let's see, let's leave these and take these. Oh shit, there's a hole in the floor. That's not good. I don't want them to see me. Tons of materials here, though. crap. Oh, crap. Alright, I think, I think we've... Oh shit, I didn't... No, 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 hold on, hold on. Stay down here. Close that door. What do they got? Oh, hell yeah! Alright, we'll leave some of this wood. Some of these materials. We got canned food. We need these. Well, we're kind of, we're kind of good on water. Let's take the bandages, and we should probably take the medicine too. No, fuck it. I'm taking ten more water. I want to have so much water that I will never have to worry about collecting my own water again. Take the gears. All right, I think this is good. All right, we need to get out of here now. We just stole from bandits. Not bad. All right, I'm going to call this episode here, but that was pretty good. Pretty slick. We got in, got out, didn't get caught. So next episode, we'll start day six. But for now, thanks for watching, guys. Maybe it's one here, and I'll see you next time.